Cozy Bird and welcome back to Lego Worlds. And today we are checking out a ton of new community brick builds that I am so excited to take a look at. We're on this island and I am playing as a undead pirate. Reminds me of Captain Deadbeard from Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> and that's for a good reason. We have a lot of ocean beach related different stuff that I wanna check out in today's episode. So I'm super excited for that. We gotta go over here and we'll just try to check out each thing one by one. Hopefully it'll actually tell me when there's new stuff this time so I don't have to be looking through the menus a ton. Here's our first new thing. This is just a house. But hey, we can pretend it's a beachside house. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's what we'll be doing in today's episode is we'll just be checking out a whole bunch of cool new stuff that is available to download. And as always, it's a limited time thing, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. This looks like actually a vacation home. Did it load all the way in? I suppose so. But as you can see, there's like a little picture of like a tent, I guess for you to go camping. Very cool. And then there's a little shed this way, which we can't open, unfortunately. Not active doors. But uh, is there any other normal way in? Oh yeah, there's a little front porch this way. We can go on inside and Ooh, I like it. So yeah, this is definitely sort of like a camping site, like a little maybe area where you just figure out how to camp or get all the camping materials you need. There's a tent or maybe like a store to buy the camping materials. Yeah, okay, I like that. So we have like a little, like other tents on display. We can buy some that are all wrapped up. We can climb up this ladder maybe. And it leads nowhere. <laughs> okay, interesting. And these are like security back exit doors. Ah, okay. I love that. That's such a neat little idea. It really ties together the feeling that it's supposed to be like a store. You have like some sleeping bags at back there, a canteen, maybe a lamp or two, some of these foldable chairs. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. That's a nice little camping store just in case as you're, you know, running through your beach vacation, you need uh, some more supplies. You can go there and grab them. So let's take a look at some other stuff. We have another, I think this is a campsite. Let's go ahead and check this out. I might have to like put it over the water. Um, we'll see. Uh, can we bring it closer to us like that? It might be floating a little bit. Is this a queen? Do we have this character over here? So if not, I wanna go ahead and get her. Oh, she needs a quest, huh? You always need a quest, don't you? Okay, so this is building, this might take a little while, but they don't seem to care very much. These queens and princesses, they just do whatever they want. They don't care if things, the world around them is just morphing, or if a you know, zombie pirate is all up in their face, they don't care. So this is definitely looking like some kind of camping site, which is pretty cool. It's still building. Yeah, that's a tent right there. Very cool, so this is like a cool summer fun kind of thing. So we have this tent, which as you can see is definitely handmade, brick by brick, which is pretty cool. But some of these other tents, not so much, and we can go ahead and discover them, so that we have them unlocked all by ourselves. And this campfire, we already had discovered. Uh, the cooking pot, we also had discovered. I think it was just a tent. Uh, yeah, the woodcutter's log pile, we have all this stuff. Oh, here we go, we can discover that little bush. So yeah, this is very interesting. So far, not too many, ooh, we got a van, but um, not too many chests or anything that have us uh, give us a bunch of studs, but that's okay. So you have your campsite, you have your little camping store, you get this cool little minivan, you know, you can bring the family into this, unlock it for 4,000 studs right around. Can pirates even drive? Do they even get their license? Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't think they're usually used to normal society constructs that we're used to, right? With like, driver's license and stuff. Anyways, um. This one is looking super cool. I think this one will actually put in the water because it looks like it's supposed to be like coming out of the water like an island. So if we just put it out this way, uh, you know, way out to like here. So that's pretty cool, right? You can like rent a boat, bring it out to the family or bring it out with the family. Oh no, I think I maybe put it a little bit under the water level here. What is that? Oh no, this is a little crab. Okay, so I'm guessing it's just trying to build up so that there's something under this maybe. Oh, there we go. Oh, I did that perfectly. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. What a build already. It's not even done. This is a really cool set of stuff right here. So for this one, let's go ahead. You know, we're a pirate. We hop out in the dock. Oh, a dolphin. Do I have a dolphin? Let's make sure. I do. Okay. Um, Hello. Oh, look at this boat. Oh, pirate captain Deadbeard's gonna love this. Look at this, this is so cool. I don't think I have this one. Has a little cannon on it. Oh, and I can fire it. Oh, this is so cool. I need this. Okay, definitely make sure you get this set just for this little thing right here. It'd be cool if this was an actual Lego set. I don't think it is. I think this is just a uh, fan-made thing. But man, is that cool. I would totally buy this as a Lego set. What do we got here? This is Explore Lugger Luggage Stack, which we already have. 
And then in here, this is so cool. I love it. First off, we have this little, oh, I guess we discovered the skeleton, a little ship in the bottle or something there. Got some of that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go into first person. It's a little crowded in here for third person camera. I don't know what we're discovering there. Uh, it's not letting me discover it though. Maybe it's on this side. I don't know what it was, but we discovered it all right. So what's down this way? We got ourselves, uh, hard to tell. Oh, nice, look at this. A little area where you can write some postage. Basically a little writing desk. That's cool. If we go back up this way, we can go up these stairs. Got some cannonballs, whoa, whoa ho ho. Speaking of which, this is where we shoot them. Oh, that is so cool. Oh gosh, I can be like, ah, I hate tourists. I despise a tourist, I am a zombie pirate, blah. Did that work? Oh, that time it worked. Oh, it doesn't quite reach. Oh, we can aim it upwards now. There we go. I hate tourism. Get out of my town. Oh my gosh, this actually works really well. Who did we hit that has the golden health? Okay, now I'm really curious. I gotta go figure that out. Who has the golden health? Oh, of course it's the princess. She's like, who dare hit me? I am the queen, princess lady thing. Does she have a quest now? Ooh. Oh, no, you're just mad. Oh, you're mad at me. But I, I was curious about what your quest is. Can I see? Come on. You're just mad at me because you threw, but you weren't talking to me before, so what do you want from me, lady? Is she actually possible to beat up? I'd probably need a legendary weapon or something, which I probably could pull out if I had enough time. Oh wait, here we go, space blaster. No. There are some weapons that can do damage against golden health people. Some of them do not, so I'd have to find some. Uh, saxophone's not gonna work in this situation, pirate. Oh, here we go. Let's try the black axe. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, luckily I have a ton of health, so she can just beat me up a little bit while I'm looking for stuff. Oh, do we have roller skates? Oh, here we go, crystal bow. Nothing's working against this lady. I just wanna see what your quest was. I had the chance to for a moment. No, okay, are you happy now? Have you got that out of your system? I wanna raise from the dead. You want a picture of a troll, or whatever that thing is. All right, all right, let's first off, let's actually start the quest. Uh, Legend tells of a mighty giant troll wandering these woods. I would love it if you could snap a photo of one for me. Okay, no. What is it called again though? Here, let's, let's give up and we'll start the, the quest again. She has a little frog as well. Wait, can I not talk to you now? Oh, of course I can't talk to you. Why is this game like that? I don't understand. Oh, give me this little pumpkin head. Do we have this boat? As well? I know I'm being like super scatterbrained in today's episode. Okay, are you gonna beat me up? <laughs> Look at this guy riding around on that goat. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to start this quest with this lady, but I guess when you cancel it, she's just, the offer's gone, which totally stinks. I just wanted her to tell me what it was called again, because I didn't want to look through the menu system. Ugh. So, yep, it's a giant troll. I should have that. It would be in this little, no, 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 it wouldn't be in characters, it'd be in animals. So, uh, here. So let's just try to type in troll, and see, I, I should have him. I sure hope so, we definitely beat one of those guys up before. Um, the text is inappropriate, but the lady called it a giant troll. Let me just try typing in giant. And see if that works. There we go. Oh, here we go, 250,000 studs. Luckily we have over six million. Place this guy down. He's gonna try beating us up right away, so we gotta be careful. Um, do I have the camera? Here we go, here we go. Um, I forgot how to use the camera. Hold circle, and snap the photo. Snap the photo. No, I, I don't know what button to press, it's not telling me. Um, hold on. No, I don't wanna give up. Can you get the camera back out? Thank you. And then, here we go. Take picture square. Got it. All right, that should make you happy. I can unlock a new character today. Yeah. Okay, so what are you gonna give me? Whoa, ho, 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 you just had that in your back pocket? <laughs> Interesting. So, um, discoverer, thank you. Awesome stuff. So now we have her discovered. She's so excited about that dude. The Lion Princess. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy because, before he causes more problems. And we're gonna go back to what we were doing, <laughs> which was, uh, Checking out, oh hey, you're here. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, you just have a gold brick, I'll take it. 100,000 studs, no problem. And then you're only selling two things. I've never seen that before. Usually you have a full stock. Not right now. I can't buy this though. There, trade. Maybe I already have this? Weird. 
Okay, game's being very odd today, but I'm glad I got another gold brick. We're almost at 130 of them. Is there anything else for this area I can check out? Oh, that's a cool little golden emblem right there. But we can go this way. Up here we have like a little uh, weapon rack, I guess, for when we want to uh, plunder some pirate ships. Oh gosh. Okay, I am all kinds of clumsy. Get back up here. And uh, I think that's it. We're on like the top top level. Oh, there is another cannon up here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. You could have gone in from over here. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I like that a lot. That was a very fun one to explore. But we gotta get to the next one now. So let's get to it. And I think they're all like summer beach pirate-ish related, you know, which is pretty cool. We need to find the next one. Oh, here we go, showcase model 83. This one's another like beach thing, so if I could just move it over there, it's loading for now. Whoa, this is huge. Oh, this is so cool. So that one's gonna take a hot minute to build, so let's go ahead and go into this little pirate ship in the meantime. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the ocean. Shoot away your enemies. This does not rhyme. <laughs> okay, this is so cool though, I love it. It's still building. And we're gonna just have some fun while we're waiting. Got more fish in the water. There's plenty of fish in the sea, they say, and we're learning that, wow, this is cool. I like it, it's like a cove, right? Maybe not. It's like a statue, actually. Yeah, it's a statue, is it done? Oh, I think our, uh, our island is done cooking in the oven. <laughs> There's some stuff that's from under the water, out of the water now, so let's discover this and get rid of it because it's ruining the vibe. There we go. So we have like a a campfire, we have some fish that are being cooked, we got a fishing rod. This is so cool, yeah, this is definitely like a pirate hideout kind of thing. And I wanted to go up here and see what this is all about. We got this big old temple on the top. There's some kind of statue. Who is that, is that a troublemaker? That's a troublemaker. Uh, ooh, is there, oh look at this, and it falls into a trap. Oh my, you'd think that me being a pirate, I would know that, but no. Oh gosh, we're getting burned up. I can't move, can't move, can't move. Oh gosh, right into the spike pit too. Yikes, this is really a trap. I can't move, I can't move. I got a crystal out of it though. I got the, I got the booty, yar. Let's get out of here. Oh, and there's just like a little exit for those who are strong enough to survive. You find a way out. That is so cool, it's just tucked under there. You would never think to look unless you fell into the trap. I wanna get a better look at the statue on the top. I was hoping we would get some kind of cool chest for that one. All right, so, oh, is it a statue of a parrot? Yep, it's a statue of a parrot, a pirate parrot. I love it, the ingenuity to the builds today are amazing. That one is awesome, no vehicle for this one, but that's fine. If we uh, take a look at everything else, these two were new, but now they're not new anymore. Or at least this one was new, and maybe this one. I don't know. Uh, so we'll just try to check them all. I hate when it does that. It's just, it's not that when you select it, it's just whenever it's on your screen at all, it will go away like that. So hopefully those were the two that we were gonna check out. Look at this one. Wow, this is already really cool. So let's go ahead and get into our little rowboat. Just like that, we can get on over there. He's like, yeah, all right, land, land ahoy. He's not moving for some reason. Uh, that was weird. Let's get out of first person mode. And I guess I'll just swim. I mean, he is a pirate, he seems to be pretty good at that. Okay, this thing's a little under the water. Got a little crab pot here. Go ahead and get that, an anchor. So this is a sunken ship. Okay, maybe it makes sense it's a little bit under the water then. We got ourselves, like they were cooking some crabs. Here's another pirate boat. This one doesn't have the uh, the pirate rowing boat. This one doesn't have the, the what's it called? Doesn't have the little cannon. Okay, this is cool. I like this one though. Let's make our way up this way. Ooh, we got another cannon just in case they are to attack our area. We can defend it. That is so cool. I love those kind of little play features. Once again, those would be so cool as like an actual Lego set. Hmm, not too much up here. But it's just old pieces of a destroyed ship turned into, I guess, a little pirate island. I fell down here, but it looks like it was worthwhile because we have another cannon. Have another cannon. These guys are everywhere. They are prepared for any kind of battle that might head their way. And there we go, that one, that's that one done. So we have, I think here, this might actually be another camping thing. It looks like it's probably a pool. I'm pretty sure this isn't something we've seen before. It was a showcase model, right? Yeah, and I tried to check out all the showcase models and I haven't seen that one before, so I'm pretty sure this is a new one as well. Because we, we checked out the one that was between this one and the pirate 
hideout we just saw. Oh, this is cool already. Yeah, this is just like a nice little pool area. I keep on putting it below the sea level though. <laughs> Everything's a pool out here. But you can still see, this is awesome. So when you're camping, you can go ahead and have a nice little pool area. That is so cool. And they like, it waterfalls from over there. That is so awesome, I love this one. Not too much to find around here. We, I mean, we got some uh, beach chairs and stuff. Got some lamps. And this is supposed to be the hot tub area. I guess you could chill out here. I don't think there's supposed to be water at this area. This is the hot tub. And then you just chill out there, have a little snack, all that kind of stuff. Very nice, I like that one as well. I'll try to put it above sea level if we have any others, but I think that's it. I don't remember building this one, but I think we have. Anyways, that seems to be about it. That's pretty gosh darn cool. I hope that we can see more soon, but that was a lot of really fun different summer items, and I hope you guys enjoyed checking that out. We even got a new character that I'll try to play as, like in an upcoming episode. Oh, have, I, have I tried these? I don't think I have. So what are we doing here? Diving in? Oh, Geronimo. Oh, are we gonna? Oh, the backwards behind the head, or over the head, goal! <laughs> That's really cool, I like that. So let's also dive off of here, because pirates, <laughs> While they might not be so nimble, they can have fun too. I like it, that was a lot of fun. I need to make sure I have these, because I need them. If I, if I make a house in this game, I need to make sure these are in my house. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that a little bit as well. And that was super duper fun. We checked out all of the new showcase builds. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Let me know which one is your favorite. I would love to hear. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Worlds. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Pirates. So now you've watched at the end of the You Are A Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.